Hi, Matt from Modern Samurai again, and again with us we've got our version of the stick, he's going to give us another hand again today. Um, so today what we're going to look at is a thing called ringing the bell. So if we're looking at sort of self-defense stuff, the idea is not to get into a fight with somebody, the idea is just to, you know, do whatever's necessary to escape and get away and live to fight another day kind of thing, right? So that's what this is. So we're going to do it and then we're going to break it down. All right, now, from here, look, um, we can do it as a counter or we can just come straight into it. So if you think about just coming straight into it, all I'm going to do here, I'm stood in front of the person here with square on, and so the first thing I'm going to do is step off into my Y. All right, so if I'm going to use my left hand, which I'm going to, I'm going to step off with my right hand. And all I'm doing is hitting with the back of my hand. Yeah. Okay, just this. Now, I'm doing this very, very lightly because it, even with a little bit of pressure, very unpleasant, okay? Now, here, I'm going to come to the side of the leg instead, all right? So from here, I step, back here. Now, I can continue moving. So if we think about it like a bar situation, like a woman trying to uh, basically just get away from an idiot, then this kind of thing can be sort of quite useful because all I'm going to do is hit strike go by, yeah? So, yeah, I'm just going to keep moving. All right, now if we look at this from a, if you like, from a counter, so if you just take a stance a minute, so if you think about somebody throwing a jab, so throw your jab towards my nose, there you go. So see, look, there's all the gap here. Now if you think about, you know, actual sort of boxing kind of stuff, I can come in with a, a low, no body hook sort of thing. But in this instance, what I'm going to do, look, so from here as it comes with a jab, it's gone. It's just come in with my ring in the bell there. All right, so it's a nice quick movement. Now what I'm not doing is bringing the handle all the way back and generating force like this. What I am doing is just very lightly, just boom, yeah, just flick it. Okay, just boom, just flick it. All right, now, again, if I just grab a pad a moment, you can see. So all I want you to do is just put the pad. <laughs> That's it. Okay, now from here, look, now we have a target. So again, we can practice this with the target now. So as I step, it's so nice and relaxed, nice and calm, step and it's into the pad here. Okay, step, into the pad here. Are you okay? Yeah. He's got a pad and a box on and it's still not nice. Alright, so we're not going to do that forever. Now if we're practicing, just, just being nice practicing, we can take it away from the groin. Okay, and then from here that I get the same motion here. Step and strike here, okay? So it's just a nice loose back in the hand. All right, now if we add on to that, so if we think about now actually well, what I've got to do is um, a, a little bit more, okay? Now, I can use this to start and set things up. So again, if he's like aggressive posture and if he's whatever it is he's doing here, now from that position I can step in, bam, here look, see it drives the head down. Now from here look, I can use this now turning, bring his head down here, look, see? And again now, I can look to grab, wrench, rip, all sorts of things, yeah? Whatever it is I want to do. All right, so once more with that look, I'm just going to show this now. So from my position here, just step, bam, here, bring the head down, control him, bam, here. Okay, all good. All right, so guys, ringing the bell, yeah? Now, subscribe if you enjoy what we're doing. Again, please leave comments on anything that you'd like to see us do, or if you thought that was beneficial, and uh, click the little bell. So yeah, ring the bell, basically. What do we just do? Ring the bell, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. All right, guys, see you on the next one.